baby. <sighs> Finally a chance to review the new Mogwai album. Hardcore will never die, but you will. <sighs> Before we get into this review down there in the D-Box, check out a new track from Beach Fossils that you can download, and also a music video from a black metal band who I hope to be reviewing their latest LP this week. Their name is Vreed. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's pretty badass melodic BM. Oh yeah. Let's get into it. Mogwai is a Scottish band who just celebrated their 15th year together with an awesome live LP called Special Moves that you really should check out if you have the time to check it out, you should. This thing is Mogwai's seventh LP, and they're really one of those groups who's kind of plagued by their groundbreaking debut album, unfortunately. Pretty much every comment about the albums released after 1997's Young Team go a little bit something like this. Yeah, it's good, but Young Team is way better. And this album is already suffering that fate too unfortunately. And, and it's okay if you like one more than the other. That's fine. We all have preferences. But I'm here to say that the assumption that Mogwai no longer has it is bullshit. More or less, Mogwai has always been relegated to the genre of post-rock, but to me, this is their most conscious effort to move in a different direction. Rather than basing their instrumental rock songs on really soft interludes and loud crescendos, they're being pretty straightforward with their volume this time around. But Hardcore Will Never Die is still a complex challenge to the attention span, because instead of hitting you over the head with a loud change in volume. Oh, it's changing. Here you go. It's really obvious. Hey! Mogwai subtly layers more guitars, drums, synthesizers, and effects into a pre-existing groove, kind of creating this layer cake. Every song here evolves. It's just dependent upon you to take the plunge and just realize how much evolution takes place. Even on the simplest, shortest track here, San Pedro, these heavy, beefy guitar riffs getting downstroked, and then this other guitar flies in on the right channel. There's another guitar in the background getting tremolo picked. All these guitar parts are morphing and changing, and then the whole song breaks down into halftime, making it almost moshable. Kind of wanted to bring the mosh. Obviously this track, like a lot of tracks on this LP, is a lot more straightforward than Mogwai usually is. And these guys have made attempts at this before, but this track has way more subtlety, way more interesting stuff going for it that I just did not hear on some tracks on, for example, The Hawk is Howling, like Sun Smells Too Loud or Bat Cat. Even though if we do go back to Mr. Beast, Glasgow Mega Snake, oh yeah. Mogwai is definitely simplifying or compacting their formula, and they're sounding really good doing it. They're really not milking every single moment like they used to. One production move I question, though, are the vocoder vocals on George Square Thatcher Death Party, though I did like the vocals on Mexican Grand Prix. And speaking of Mexican Grand Prix, the pumping bass line on that track, the really constant drums, the repetitive phrases, can somebody say kraut rock? It sounds like Mogwai's been digging on a lot of noi and harmonia to pull that kind of thing off. And in light of the sound of Mexican Grand Prix, that whole same volume, subtle layers approach is really what kind of feeds this entire album. It's another really consistent release for me in the Mogwai canon. Each of their albums kind of have a certain theme or a certain idea, and I feel like the idea this time around is just making that Mogwai sound just more in your face. Though there still are some moments here where, you know, I felt like it could have used a crescendo or it could have used a point where it got quiet, like the opener. I'm feeling a light eight on this album, enjoying it a lot. Enjoying it a lot every time I listen to it. If you're in the market for an instrumental rock album full of really mesmerizing jams and grooves that just build and build and get thicker and thicker and louder and louder, then bam, hardcore will never die but you will. Anthony Fantano, Mogwai, forever.